Hey, what's up? It's Pure for Life here, and welcome to another exciting product review. Today, I'm going to be looking at Panix Coda 2, which is uh, one of my favourite IDEs, Coda 1 was. So, it's going to be interesting to see what Coda 2 actually delivers and what the features are. So, let's have a look. And actually, first, I found this at the store today, so it might be interesting to some of you who drink energy drinks out there. I'm quite a big fan of the old energy drinks. I've got um, a channel where I do some documentaries about different ones. And this one looks interesting. Obviously, it's called Cannabis Energy Drink, which uh, <laughs> I can't believe they managed to get away with. And it does actually contain hemp, uh, which flavours it, apparently. So it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try this tomorrow, probably to post on my Twitter, which you can follow me, uh, and I'll put the link underneath for my Twitter. Okay, so let's have a look at Panix Coda 2. So let's open Coda 2. So as you can see, the interface has changed from Coda 1. The noticeable thing is, well, all of it's noticeable really, they've changed everything. See, we've got our three sites here, and obviously there's a nice icon showing you what the sites look like. Let's go into my own productions.co.uk website, and this is built on WordPress. So, the first thing you might, you'll notice, well, I'm going the first thing I'll show you is, uh, let's go to files. First thing I'll show you is these kind of look, look they're like, like little apps or widgets on the side here, which allow you to do different things, obviously. Let's, um, let's have a look at what some of them do. So files is just like your file structure um, within your application. Finding is find and replace. So you've got hints, navigator. It will, it will show you like a list of everything, uh, all your different uh, elements, sort of save with CSS. I'm guessing it would list all the functions if you're doing PHP application and all your um, elements with this, uh, HTML as well. Hints, I guess, would be if you were using HTML hints, it might tell you some interesting stuff. Places is basically you can you can have a look around your uh, you can you can have a look in your app, uh, the rest of your computer publish gives you a list of all the files you've changed in comparison to ones on your server which i have set up on this uh, ownproductions.co.uk so if i was to uh, let's, let's go back to publish if i was going to i could publish this and then it would send my styles.css which i've edited on the computer send it to the server which is quite nice actually. Shared, if you're looking on local networks, and validate, which is quite cool as well. Let's have a look. There you go, it's found six errors. Nice. Okay, so I'm guessing they'll be adding more of these applications, these minis, mini apps kind of things. That'd be nice to see something like a Git one. Okay, let's go back to files. And here you can see this is my local app, and this is a remote app. And it's kind of got this nice, if you've ever used Transmit before, it's got this nice Transmit interface where you can literally throw files back and forth. So let's just add a new file, test.php. And I can also show you some cool PHP skills. Hello this world. So I'll save that. I hope there's not a test.php on here. Throw it over to here. And it's on my site. So we go own productions.co.uk forward slash test.php. Hello this world. So it's that simple to throw files page. Actually one thing I'll show you before I I leave this at, um, WordPress site is the MySQL client which is included with Coda 2 so let's connect to my local machine connect ah, all wonderful so now I can have a look at my WordPress database 
And for instance, if I was developing a PHP application, I can add uh, and discard chain, uh, add rows to the database. Can change all the structure. Do basically everything. And I can also do custom queries, drop all tables. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. And uh, that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's have a look at another application. This is a Kate PHP application. Let's have a look at the markup. Let's see what we can do extra. So I'm just going to tab in and add a dot block. Let's see if it recognizes it from the start. No. This is PHP, by the way, if you didn't know. No dot block support, although I'm sure you can probably use uh, clips to do it. So let's do some KPHP stuff. User list equals this. Find this user. Find. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. I mean, I haven't tested it thoroughly. I'll, I'll probably tweet if I find any cool features with uh, in regards to extra stuff with actually coding PHP. Let's have a look at CSS though, because I know CSS has some cool stuff. So my style.css. Now, if you type in background, auto completes, and also you can click on gradient or color picker so I'm going to go to gradient and it allows me to create a gradient and of course they're going to also add it to list and then click it and easy as that it creates the gradient for you so let's have a look if it has yep it did so we've got some cool stuff for text shadow <laughs> so I'd say yeah definitely a massive improvement from the first one I mean all the extra features uh, it's uh, looking like a good ID now I mean I used the first one quite a lot but I think this one is definitely a big improvement and I do love it you can get the demo online off code site and have a go yourself I'd say probably at least an 8 or I'd say 9 out of 10 for this for this app I'm definitely going to be using it I'm going to be uploading another Kate PHP tutorial, and I think it's either going to be on Facebook or PayPal um, in the next couple of weeks, when maybe next week. Um, so yeah, check out my uh, channel and leave me some comments and uh, <laughs> tell me how good my review was. So thank you very much. SPO for life and goodbye.